Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. Today we have a super exciting slash little strange, <laughs> I don't know what to think about this kind of episode. This is microwavable pork rinds. Okay, so we're back. Um, I follow the directions. Hopefully it's done right. So it was basically unwrap it, open it up. You had to shake it five to six times to try to uh, get everything spread out in there. And then you cook it for one to two minutes. That's a big window. Like what, how do you know when it's done? It says you know when it's done when the bag can't expand anymore. Stop cooking when you can't expand it. And so that's what I did. So hopefully it's good. They're still kind of popping in there. Yeah. This is the strangest thing. I'm so curious. I've never seen these before. Weren't they near where microwave popcorn? Yeah. In the same area, which we're in that area all the time. We love popcorn. I've never seen microwavable pork rinds. I'm not sure the deal with them. Mm, I don't like, know either. I mean, pork rinds are a big thing, but they're already puffed and in a big bag. I'm not, I'm not sure the appeal of this, but I want to know if you've ever tried them before. We found ours at Walmart. Yep. Okay. I don't think I need a big huge one. Whew, they're hot. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Hmm. I think they're done. Mm-hmm. Salty, crisp. Mm hmm Definitely, you can probably hear that crunch. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm not sure what the deal is with these either. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know what it says about... Um, like, calories or anything. Who knows? Mm, who knows? I'm sure it's not low on calories. Yeah. Them. Yeah, I'm not sure I do either. I like regular ones, all right. Yeah, regular ones are, are good. I don't know what the deal is with these. Uh, I'm going to try them now that it's cooled off a little bit. They're uber salty. Yeah. More so than regular pork rinds, I think. Do you? Yeah, and it's kind of a weird texture. Mm hmm. They're puffed. Yeah, but they're still, they have still got crunchy bits. Mm -hmm. to it. Here's what I'll tell you. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 let's say is popcorn as for a salty crunchy snack. For me, pop popcorn or crisp, certain crisps, those are a 10. This is probably, and let's say regular pork rinds for me are maybe like a, like a good one or maybe like a 7. Right. Okay. This is probably a 4. I was thinking three. I think there's kind of a, a sulfur taste to it a little bit. Yeah. A little off-putting. Yeah. I don't love them. I can't recommend them. I don't know. There's something off-putting. Maybe it's texture. I don't know why you have to microwave them. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. I don't like it. I don't get it. I don't like it. Gosh, I want to like it. I like the mm. idea of it. They weren't expensive either. They were around a dollar, but... I like the idea of pork rinds as well. I mean, not just these, but just like in general. And I always seem to, oh, that sounds good. And then I'll get them. And I do like them. I'll just only eat a few though. You know, like I won't eat... I'll never finish a, a bag of them. Here's or the thing. a big jar. Right. Sometimes they come in big jars. Me too. I don't like to eat them like this either. I think the flavor is so good. I could see breaking that up and putting it as a topping, like a mac and cheese or something, I think would be really good. Yeah, and when we were uh, like on that keto diet, we used pork rinds and like pulverized it in a food processor mm -hmm. and used them as coating on like pork chops or yeah. chicken and stuff like that. We're gonna be doing some more of that. You'll see that here soon. And I can see that being really good for that, but just to sit and eat, that's not, that's not for me. That's yeah, not my that's thing. That's not really my thing either. 
Anyway, I'm glad we tried it. I'm always glad that we tried sure, different things. Too. Let us know if you have seen these in a store near you or if you've ever tried them before and what you thought of them. The other thing is I was really hopeful because we are popcorn connoisseurs. We like to make it. We like really good popcorn. We like caramel corn, cheese corn. You know, we talk about it all the time. Um, there's something special about eating popcorn when it's warm. Yeah, oh yeah. Don't get me wrong, I'll still eat it out of the bag and you know, caramel corn isn't warm generally and cheese corn, we don't normally eat it warm. I was really hoping that there would be something like, oh, I get it because right. it's warm. I didn't have that experience. Yeah, I, did, I didn't like it better than just regular run of the mill chicharrones that you can get from yeah, the store. Me too, me too. Anyway, swing and miss kind of, but uh, like I said, let us know if you tried it and come find us on social media if you haven't already. Don't forget to check us out on our game channel as well. And now, if you love pork rinds, which we do, <laughs> chicharrones, or salty snacks, or us, or the video, video yeah. give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. See you next time. That's it, guys. Bye. Bye.